Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com, where we have easy, cheap land priced at 50 to 80 percent below the competition. Today, I've got up for sale 20 acres off Cadiz Road in Southern California. If you go to Google Earth, I can show you where we're, where where this land is. It's the road goes right through a corner of the land, and there's a railroad track on the other side of the the road. And the land is a big square off in this this area I'll show you some other property lines in a sec but if we look at the area this cat is road goes south to the 62 and north to route 66 so here's a 62 and route 66 is to the north the California aqueduct comes through here you can see uh, you might be able to see some pictures but there's a lot of water that moves through the valley through through the aqueducts um, I think this is a picture of the turnoff. There's a sign on the road there that says private right away. Any person entering therein does so at their own risk. Permission to pass revocable at any time. You know, this is a private road. This is, uh, I think a sparsely traveled road, but it's a gravel road. I mean, you could drive a car on this thing. It's not like a four by four truck trail or something. I mean, it's sparsely traveled, but I think you can drive right up to this property and take a look at it. Get some GPS coordinates from the description below and put it in your, put it in your phone. I think your phone will take you right there. So here's some pictures that people have taken of the area. I think one of the notable things is this aqueduct going through the area that people like to take pictures of. There's mountains in pretty much all directions. So you can get mountain views. And there's a dry lake bed in the middle of this valley. It looks like it'd be fun to drive around in with dirt bikes, four wheelers, off road trucking, and all kinds of toys. So here's just more pictures of the the valley, the scenery in the valley. Um, see if I can pull up some other pictures of the area. Here's the road. Here's the 62. Someone titled this picture Road to Nowhere. I mean, there's no one around. There's no neighbors. You can shoot your guns in every direction. You can be as loud as you want. You can dress as you please. No one's going to tell you otherwise. So this is this is kind of the area. These are some mountains. Horn Peak seems to be the taller one in the area. I could take you on a little fly through. We can pretend like we're on the peak and looking at the area. So there's some other peaks in the area. It'd be fun to go hike these things. There's the 62. Let's see if I can kind of guide this. Here's the valley. We're not to the property yet. Just around this corner here would be the property. I think it'd be over here. Here's the marker where the property is. You can see the lake would be off in the distance. The dry lake. So let's go to the internet and see if I can show you the property lines. So here is Google Maps. Um, if you pull up the coordinates that are in the description of this video in Google Maps, you can see the uh, the property lines. So here's Kedis Road cutting through the property. Here's the rail line cutting the corner of the property. And this is 20 acres. It's 20 acres square. To find the GPS coordinates of the corners, you can pull it up in this Google Maps and just click on the corners, and it'll show you GPS numbers of of the corners. So when you get a GPS app on your phone and you go look at this property, look at those numbers, and you can figure out where the corners of the property are by looking at the numbers on your phone and comparing the numbers. So let's look at price. I pulled up landwatch.com and I searched Cadiz, California. Not much of anything came up. There's two listings. One is another property that I have for sale. Um, and another is one that Steve Butala, who sells a lot of land, has had for sale that's gone, it's sold. So his, his is a competition theoretically is $10,000 for 40 acres. I'm asking $4,500 for 20 acres. So it's 
per acre, it's less than him, even though his is already sold. And uh, I'm not really competing with myself, so that doesn't count. So to find some more comparables, I pulled up the whole county. Instead of just the little area, let's look at the whole county of San Bernardino. Uh, this is 20 acres for $4,500. Um, I narrowed it down a little bit. I went San Bernardino County and I sorted price low to high. And I zoomed into properties that are 11 to 50 acres. This being a 20 acre, that's the, the slot that Landwatch has. So if we look at the listings, there's, there's my picture comes up on you know, almost all the properties of the first page are the cheapest ones available. But I'm looking for the competition. Who's the competition? This guy right here has got the cheapest sizable land in San Bernardino County that's not something I'm listing. And he's asking $5,000 for 16 acres. Um, this one this on Cadiz Road that I'm presenting, I'm asking $4,500 cash and it's 20 acres. It's larger uh, it's and cheaper than any comparables that I can find that I can easily find on the internet. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's how I price the property. So I hope you're interested in this one. I did some maps to help show you where this property is located in relation to metropolitan areas and supplies. One of the first places I searched being in this part of San Bernardino County is Lake Havasu, Arizona. Lake Hav <coughs> excuse me. Lake Havasu has grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, Home Depot, Walmart, all kinds of supplies, hospitals, pharmacies, whatever you might need to set up a base here. You could get all your supplies from Lake Havasu. And Google says it's about 85 miles to Lake Havasu City. And the other nice thing about going for supplies in Arizona is you don't have to pay California taxes. And gas is like two-thirds the price or maybe even half the price of, that it is in California. So it's nice to go in that direction and just save on some of the costs. And they have uh, beautiful boating and fishing and all kinds of other entertainment on the river. So if you go the other direction, you get to 29 Palms. 29 Palms is a little closer um, mileage-wise. It's 74 miles instead of 84 miles. And you can take. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You could take your choice between going to 29 Palms or uh, Lake Havasu, Arizona. Um, there's supplies in either direction. Uh, 29 Palms also has Home Depot, Walmart gas stations, grocery stores, and uh, supplies like that as well. I also pulled up Las Vegas. Las Vegas is 190 miles to the north. Um, you shoot over to the 95, the 95 takes you right up into Las Vegas, where you can get entertainment and all kinds of other supplies. That'd be the closest major metropolitan area. Los Angeles is the next closest at uh, 225 miles away to downtown Los Angeles. If you're coming from the outskirts of Los Angeles, you get a shorter distance, but you can relate it from downtown Los Angeles with this map. So I think it's an easy weekend drive from Los Angeles to the property and back if you wanted to use it as a base for off-roading and exploring San Bernardino County and the mountains and the deserts around there with any of your off-road toys. It's also close to tw to uh, Joshua Tree, and, and uh, so I put Joshua Tree in and pulled up some pictures. And Joshua Tree has some of the most famous rock climbing in the world. People come to Joshua Tree from all over the place to go rock climbing. People love to camp out and watch the stars because it's so dry, and there's so little light that you get a clear, unobstructed view of the sky. So you can see the Milky Way at its finest. And you get to look at these Dr. Seuss looking trees. There's rock paintings from the ancient people of the area and just all kinds of nature that looks different than most anywhere else in the world. So people come from all over to explore this area. And that would be in your backyard, just a little bit west of the property.
a little east of the property is Lake Havasu. I was just showing you a map to Lake Havasu, and I put that into Google Images, and you can see pictures of Lake Havasu here as well. You know, hordes of people taking their boats out of the river and, and partying at different times of the year. It can really go off there. Other parts of the river are quiet and secluded, and you can go fishing without seeing anyone for a long time. It's a big body of water that lots of people frequent and play in. It's a it's a mecca for people from Phoenix and Las Vegas, San Diego, and Los Angeles to meet in the middle. I pulled up the uh, tax website for San Bernardino County. Look at the taxes on this property. And the next tax that's due is April 11, 2016 and it's nineteen dollars and seventy cents and that's half a year's payment the other half is due December 15th of 2016 so that's a little less than twenty dollars every half a year it's not exactly six months but you know every half year and then uh, which would be less than forty dollars a year in taxes so I think that that's not much tax for 20 acre property in California and then I also wanted to point out on my website, ruralvacantland.com, if you go to the subscribe tab on my website and sign up to subscribe um, to hear about updates and other properties that I have for sale, I'll give you $100 off any of your purchases for the rest of 2016, including this property. So if you're interested in buying this property, go, go subscribe first and I'll reduce the $4,500 price to $4,400 just by subscribing. Then I get the chance to present other properties like this to you over time. Thank you for listening. I hope you're interested, and I'd love to hear a call from you saying you'd like to buy this property. My name is Luke Smith, and my phone number is 760-274-7711. You can also contact me through my website, ruralvacantland.com. There's a contact section there with my name, number, address, and a contact form you could email me through or send me messages. Thank you for listening and watching.